Ich will die Dinge holen. Now you see that? That perfect time we're getting our throws out. Now you understand here. Yeah. Good morning guys and welcome back. Yeah, Sunday morning. We are at Amkuma's uh, whaler. Yeah guys, there's a little, off the ledge, there's a little deep hole here. We're going to try and wade through here, get on the bank in the back, throw some baits for the sandies, honeys or browns. Today I'm with two of my friends, uh, Jerome and Cups. The one without the shirt there with the big nipples. Yeah, that's Cups. Yeah, guys, we're gonna be here having some throws. Uh, stay tuned, guys, and let's see. Hopefully, we get some bites. The weight's gonna be a bit hard, but yeah, we're gonna get through. I'm on my own, broken alone. I feel the rain crashing down. All around this empty town, we're searching for the lost and found. But you don't care, you're unaware. Keep moving like the scars aren't even there It's in the air, like a blazing flare Don't stare cause the flames will burn us I thought you were the one for me That's why I gave you everything Held you close by the stormy seas Oh, you meant the world to me Guys, just a quick note. So when you're waiting, before you decide to go out, make sure you you understand the banks. You know, so basically every bank is gonna have two rubs on either side of the banks. Um, try and stay away from those rubs. As you see here, there's a very, very strong rub current going out. If you judge that wrong and you get sucked into that, yeah, you're gonna get sucked out to see. Uh, so before you attempt waiting, make sure guys you, you have a knowledge of the cap, the banks, the current. And uh, so one important thing I learned over the years is your landmark. Your landmark is very important. If you look behind me, directly behind me, on the beach, you'll see our cooler boxes. So we're using our cooler boxes as a landmark, okay, uh, um, you know, on the beach. So that when we're waiting, we go straight out in front of our cooler boxes and when we've done waiting, we come back to stand in front of your cooler boxes. Because what happens is sometimes you're just bobbing on the bank, unconscious, having a chat to your friend and because you're bobbing and you're bobbing and you're bobbing, moving your feet all the time, unconsciously or unaware, you can end up on either side of the bank and getting caught in a rub. So guys, that's, that's something very, very important. Well, I've, I've seen at trials, I've seen at nationals, I've even seen at social fishing guys getting sucked out onto ropes where you have to do rescues. Well, I've had to swim out for a few of my friends a couple of times. So yeah, it's not easy. But also, if you, if you just be aware of your surroundings, you'll, you'll know what's going on. So yeah, guys, stay tuned. I'm just hoping that one of us three gets the bite. We'll get some footage. I'll be able to upload this video for you guys. Thank you. 
And I'm on, gentlemen. And I'm on. Yeah, guys. On, I ran away. I told you guys. Jerome, put a bit, Jerome. Come, Jerome, put a bit. Rest. Yeah, guys. I came to the ledges. I threw. And I'm on.
var ya. Okay guys, that's super. as you can see he's got his claspers at the back here, that's a young male, and yeah, guys, I was waiting there, didn't get a bite, uh, I ran away to the ledge here, and I managed to get him here. the breeders are what a beautiful thing so beautiful so so beautiful that's all there for me on to me I'm gonna take a picture for them